KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. a market update. And we're looking at the Dow down 145 at 30,128. This is going to be uh, an important couple of days. Why? Because we had a fabulous uh, uh, four sessions <clears throat> from the Monday low at 28,715 in the Dow uh, to yesterday's high. And that was, that was quite a move, not only gapping uh, up on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday. No, sorry. On Wednesday, today's Thursday. No, wait, something's wrong here. Oh, that was the Friday. Of course, this is the cash index. The cash index made a low on Friday. So uh, we, we gapped up on Tuesday and Wednesday. We made even a higher high. And that was really important. We went to 30,454. A bit of a pullback here, yeah, digestive phase. We were expecting us to uh, subscribe to my opening call. Yeah, we can expect some kind of resi a resistance up here and some kind of a, a just a digestive phase. We're looking at the S&P. The S&P also made a very strong leg A, pulling back down 15 at 37.68. And in both cases, you saw the MACD finally cross positive. It's going to take a lot of more work on the upside to see the nine period cross above the 14 period moving average in the daily charts. The QQQ on the left here made a new high today, a recovery high. That's really important. Now it's down $1.22 at 280.73, another little digestive phase. That weekly chart is not too great, I must say. Uh, IWM, the Russell 2000. Oh, did it make a leg B, a C today? Uh, leg B went to 170.608, uh, and today's high is 176.16. Yes, it's already in leg C. Um, it seems like it wants, it's struggling a little bit here, but it, that, that is really very nice. Looking at gold, this is going to be uh, quite important because gold had a fantastic leg A to the upside, made a peak A yesterday. It's down uh, just a fraction at 17.20. But the MACD strong stochastics at 82%. I like that. That's helping a lot. The dollar, in fact, had a good day yesterday. And today it's even up again, up 65 ticks at 111.72. So, yeah, the dollar still giving a little bit of pressure to the market. Uh, crude oil is uh, unchanged at 87.92. And this is really important. Those bonds, I don't know, the yields keep going higher. TLT is at 104, 101.84. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour. In a moment, check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Hope you can stay. Great programming here all day. Be back in a moment.